tonight, police are going door to door looking for a fully automatic weapon stolen from a Fairhope cop. And get this, there has been no disciplinary action taken against the officer who broke the rules by keeping the high powered weapon in his personal car. NBC 15's James Gordon has been following up on this investigation. James, do we know who the police officer is yet? I spoke to Police Chief Joe Pettis in Fairhope. He won't release the officer's name, but he did tell me there is an internal investigation that's ongoing, and that officer was back on the job today. We may not know who the Fairhope police officer is, but we do know the department issued AR-15 was taken from the officer's home in the Labrador Run subdivision right outside Foley. Fairhope police admit it's a black eye for the department, especially after asking everyone else to lock their cars as a rash of crooks going driveway shopping is now a rampant problem. It is embarrassing for us, so you know, we can't get around that. We have been pushing the public message, don't leave firearms in vehicles overnight. The sheriff's office, which is heading the investigation into the stolen AR-15, says it canvassed the neighborhood where it was stolen, seeking any witnesses or possible home surveillance video. Are they actively looking for weapons, you think? But what is the, it's just a... Whatever they can get their hands on. They're looking for open cars and whatever they can get their hands on. I just think weapons get the, get, the, get, the, get the press and the media and everybody's attention. And people leaving weapons in their unlocked cars keeps on happening. In Daphne, just two days ago, police believe the man in this grainy home surveillance video took a gun from an unlocked car at the Ottawa Springs subdivision. A stolen gun problem is a national one. I think it's widespread across the United States. I mean, we're, we're not the only one dealing with this. And tonight, for a veteran Fairhope police officer, it's become a big mistake. Meantime, Fairhope's police chief says he hopes to have his internal investigation completed by the end of the month. That's next week. And the Bolling County Sheriff's Office continues looking for that AR-15 and the person who took it. Question, how often does this happen? Well, Greg, you know, this is the first time it's happened in Fairhope, they tell us, at least in the past 10 years. And I talked to the Bolling County Sheriff's Office. They say they've had zero incidents like this as well. Now we're live in Bolling County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.